All right, guys, we'll go and get started. Uh, welcome to the Agent Q&A. My name is John. We got in, on the, the second co-host, Joanne. Hi, everybody. And we got a third co-host today again. Yeah, Ellie. Back in action. Ellie, say hello. Hello. All right. So uh, we're going to start off with just a, co a couple of upcoming events. As you guys may have uh, noticed, if you haven't, go to fflevents.com. We're going to have our continuous business development meetings on Mondays and Thursdays. We have a special guest here with Stephen Yee coming out on August 15th. Okay, so uh, check out the Elite FFL Instagram. We'll post more information. Uh, but FFL Events has all of the states, all of the local work spots that will have the events in there with specific board members and specific uh, trainers that's going to be in there. Uh, but typically, it'll run from 6 to 9 p.m. A quick BDM. Uh, agent Q&A and a uh, live training in lo into your local um, vicinities, wherever you're at. So check out WorkSpots. You'll see the availabilities out there. Uh, but let's start off with the common theme. You ha we have news with uh, contracting, right, Joanne? Yeah, the, the newest news that we have now, you guys, is um, when you guys are inviting new agents into um, Family First Life Elite or any one of the agencies, um, you guys are now going to be required to enter the correct NPN number for um, your new life agents. So um, we, if you guys don't know where to um, where to send them to get their um, updated NPN, you guys can um, most definitely go on the NIPR website and they can go ahead and verify their NPN number there. Um, and that'll be the number that they will provide you to go ahead and enter it into their invitation. Um, if you guys are creating fake NPNs or if you guys are trying to put in an NPN that the system has recognized is already there, um, number one, if your invitation won't go through. And number two, if it's a bogus NPN, they're going to cancel that invitation. So just make sure that you guys are um, accurately entering that information for the new agents. But that's so basically it. If I hire someone brand new, so typically before I wasn't yeah. putting any NPN because it wasn't in an asterisk. I, yeah. The only thing needed is their full name, their um, salutation, Mr. Mrs. And then also uh, their, their state or, or sometimes you don't even need to state. You just need their phone number, email, and full name. Yeah. And I can send that out, right? Yep. As and long this, as obviously, their, their salutation, right? Yeah. I think that's like the, the annoying part. Sometimes we miss that salutation, but it's, it's there as well. Mm -hmm. um, but before, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a requirement. Now it's becoming a requirement because they are um, comparing both of that information with, uh, with um, <clears throat> well, they're going to be, yeah, 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 they're comparing that information with an IPR and they're using that same information for your contracting now. Okay, got it. All right, so uh, second thing we want to address, um, this is a common thing that's uh, having an issue with call tools. If you guys are, uh, not call tools, I'm sorry. If you guys are using in insurance toolkits, there are carriers out there that are popping up by a few cents cheaper or a dollar a short cheaper than our main portfolio carriers. And it's throwing off a lot of the agents. It's throwing off the agents getting paid and it's throwing off the clients getting issued a policy. There are some carriers out there, even though they're slightly cheaper, it's not instant approval. Okay, so this is why we want to use Americo, Prosperity, Aetna, and AIG the most, because you want to make sure that the client has a policy on hand, and you don't have to do a lot of follow-ups. Some carriers out there, you can get a, a policy, get them a policy number, but two days later, you get a, a, a system or an email or a notification. There's a policy modification. There's additional questions needed. Um, now you quoted with the preferred rate. Now it's dropping down to standard or graded rates. Now you got to come back to the clients and, and tell them what's happening. Okay, So we, you want to prevent that because you want to prevent the extra, it's called the policy mod or, or um, uh, what do you call it, underwriting guidelines or, or additional work from you as the agent in between. Okay, so this is why we want to emphasize, we want to use Americo, Americo and Prosperity, they give you instant decision on the spot. Before you move forward, before you even put the bank account information, you're already going to know if the client's approved. Okay, there's no questions asked. Uh, Aetna, for anyone 80 to 89, that's the best pro program available for our clients because it pays you full comp, okay? Now with Aetna, it does have the um, preferred mo a standard and modified, and it can sometimes be sent to underwriting, but it's the best to use if you, you, you don't have a lot of options. And in worst case, we want to use is AIG because with AIG, you can insure anyone. Okay. Anyone between 50 to 80, there's no medical questions asked. It's two year graded, meaning that they have to keep the policy in place for the first two years. If they pass away during the first two years, it's graded, meaning that we'll only pay back the premiums or the insurance carrier will with a 10% interest. Okay. So 
these are the four main things you want to use. Um, if you mess around, you can, you know, you're a broker, you have the choice, you have the, the individual choice on what you feel is best for the client, but you just don't want to make a mistake of picking the carrier by just a dollar or a few cents off to our main portfolios, which then will throw it off for you. So that's, that's the biggest thing I, I would advise you on. It, what in doubt, if you're a little bit confused or you're going to use another carrier, feel free to hit us up, check up on it to see what, what's, you know, our, our um, opinion on it. Because yeah, you, you write some policies just to save some premiums and then it doesn't get issued for seven to 10 days and then it cancels and then you got to come back. Okay. So one of the common mistakes I do, I, perp I, I make a mistake, even though, you know, I'm a veteran into it is that I try to save clients money on an IOL express with mutual of Omaha. Okay. It's used for final expenses, used for mortgage. But what the greatest thing about the IOL express is that you can go and write anyone 18 to 70 simplified issue between 60 to 70, you can get them up to $150,000 coverage. So you can see some clients that are really feeling like they're healthy and they want more coverage so they get the better bang for their buck. The issue to that with the IOL Express, and I want to emphasize this, when it comes down to underwriting, there's really 12 table ratings. Okay, What table ratings are, this is a number designated to the risk classification of an agent, I mean, of, a, of the insured. Okay, What I mean by that is, if you had a previous heart attack, stroke, multiple conditions, you can end up being table six rating because you have a lot of risk factors. Okay. The IOL Express is only meant for table four and under. Okay. Table four and under means you can be approved if you're if you had high blood pressure, if you had anxiety, um, some maybe back pain. But if you feel like you know you have a client that has rheumatoid arthritis, strong uh, steroid medications for pain they're not going to get issued on an IOL Express, but they'll get issued on a permanent plan, whole life plan, final expense. So you can come in and make that mistake of, okay, let me try to get somebody 25,000, they're 65 years old, and it's only $100 a month because you're saving them money on IOL Express. The issue to that is if it flips on you and it cancels, now you're, you have to pivot to a whole life plan, which is more expensive, okay? Because with the whole life, you can go table six and up. Okay, so previous conditions that they got declined from IOL Express, table six will automatically approve. Okay, no issues. But now the issue is how do you convince the client on the value of the price that you gave? They got declined for it. Now you got to say, hey, we, it's, it's a little bit more expensive. Now we went from $100 to $150 a month. Now you got a client that's kind of like backing away. They felt like they didn't get the greatest price and then you lost the sale. Okay. So this is what I mean by choosing policies just because to try to save the client money and you feel that it's the cheapest for the client. It might not be the best value because you're trying to fit them in the wrong shoe in a sense, and then they don't get approved and now you lost the sale. Okay. So be careful of that. What I like to, to tell the agents, if you feel like the client is on IOL Express, you feel like you can get them a term when they, they should really be a whole life. All these issues, you got to come off with a takeaway. Okay, so the takeaway means this is something for you, but we're not sure if you're going to be approved. That's called a takeaway. You offer it, but you kind of take it back. That's a takeaway in the sales process. So here's what I'm going to do to you, client. I'm going to see if I can get you qualified on this. It's a 50-50 shot. Sometimes I even say it's a 25% shot. So we have a pivot. This is the real plan that we're going to try to get you. This is what you should really qualify for. I'm only trying this to see what we can do to see if I can save you money. Okay, so now I'm on your side as the, the, the agent, but I'm giving you, I'm prefacing it. I'm telling you ahead of time, it's a low chance to get approved. Okay, if you didn't say that and you said, this is the best plan for you, this is for you, client, this is what I'm going to get you, and you left it at that, then the policy declines. Now you come back looking funny. You, you come back and the client's going to come back at you looking pissed off because you promised them the world. You're over promising and under delivering. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to just say, this is what we're going to try. We're going to try for the best, shoot for the stars and land on the moon. So if we don't land on the stars, we're in the moon. This is the backup plan. Okay, so you want to make sure that you, you're, you're open, you're transparent to the client, you're taking care of them, you're doing and you're, you're, you're you know, taking an extra step for them, but at the same time, level with the clients. Okay, because uh, as Casey always mentioned, all the clients that you're going to see, especially if you're doing telesale, they're quoting, they're asking for quotes, they're trying to buy Lambos for a dollar. They want the biggest, best thing, 100,000, 200,000 for $10. And you wanna to try to please them as much as you can, but it's not gonna happen all the time. So you wanna make sure you level with the client. 
So um, with that in mind, uh, we're going to open it up for questions. Uh, we got a lot of people in uh, on the call. Feel free to just chime in, uh, state your name, what state you're in, how long you've been in, uh, in the insurance, and then what questions do you have for us as far as, you know, field, closing, contracting, or anything else? Feel free to go ahead and unmute. There we go. Uh, I'm Solomon. Solomon. What's up? Yeah. So I just got my license I'm training right nice. now. Nice. How long you been nice. in the industry for? So I've been in the industry since I was 21, 22, right out of college. I'm 36, mm -hmm. 37 now. So I, I came from a previous company for 10 years. Then I, I switched over to FFL uh, right before when she was like six months. Yeah. So we have a lot of knowledge available for you. Anywhere you want to see yourself in the business. Um, let's tailor it to you. You froze up. Okay, so you're just brand new into the business, right? What got you in here and what are you looking to do? I'm sorry. It just froze on me for like the last 10 seconds. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, we saw that. Solomon, so you, you're brand new into the business, right? We're going to use you as, a, as a, an example. What mm -hmm. got you into the business and what are you looking to do into the business? And we're going to help you achieve your goals. Yeah, yeah um, basically, I just wanted to work on my own time okay. and help families. Okay. So now let's make that even more narrow. Okay. So mm -hmm. because if you don't have a number to that, you know, what's considered families? Is it one or two? Are you going to be succeeding your goals if you got to talk to two people and you helped them out and you worked on your own free time? What does that mean? You know, do you want to be part time or do you want to be full time into the business? A full time. Okay. Okay. So yeah. full time. Now, do you have a structure and schedule yet? Uh, how do you see yourself in the business? Do you want to do a hybrid or do you want to do all telesales? Do you want to do just um, Zoom sales? Probably hybrid, but okay. yeah. Okay, what Hi state are you in? I'm in Massachusetts. Okay, Mass. Perfect. Okay, so who do you know your upline? Who you're working with? Who I'm working with? Um, yeah. Family first? No, 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 your direct upline. Your supporting right. upline. Um, I work with Jordan Williams and I work okay. with guy named Micah. Yeah. yeah. Micah's yeah. out there in Rhode Island. He's really good. He does hybrid. Okay. So yeah. you want to look into how Jordan's doing it and Micah's doing it. Um, Micah has a treasure trove of knowledge within the insurance. Okay. Mm -hmm. So any situation that you have, you're going to have a backup plan with him. Okay. So you want to go into the IUL side, the AMS side, to the final expense, to the mortgage. Micah knows all of them. Okay. Now, yeah. Here's where FFL comes in. We will give you 100% of the, the support, but we can only support you if you're in front of people, right? Mm -hmm. All this knowledge and everything will, will, won't do you no good if you're not able to present, okay? So brand new into this, no experience. What you want to master is the three main things. You want to master a lead strategy. A lead strategy will allow you to get in front of people. Mm -hmm. Then you want to master a calling strategy calling us and booking them or one call close and selling them on the phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are the two main things you got to figure out first. Cause that's 80% of the work. The last part is just presenting. Okay. Presenting, meaning knowing what to say on the products, knowing how to close it. That is actually the end point because you can't present if you're not in front of somebody and you can't get in front of somebody if you don't have a lead strategy. Okay. So you want to start off with the foundation from then. Yeah. So, um, while you're waiting on your license, have you gotten contracted? Have you sent in contracting, your Eno and all that? No, I haven't. Okay. Do you no. have an NPN so far, uh, national producer number? I'm waiting on it still. It's supposed to come in. It should come in today or tomorrow. Okay. You've already applied so, for your license, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how it is with Massachusetts. So certain states, what they do is they apply. They give you a number before they approve you. Do you already have an NPN number at all? I don't. Okay. So I would check NIPR.com. And yeah, I've, been then, um, on the, I've been checking on morning, so. Nothing yet? Nothing popped up? Okay. So what do you think right now that you should be doing while you're waiting on your license? Um, I, be, I should be focusing on like in-home training because yeah. I feel like I kind of got the phones down and the objectives down over the phone okay. Okay. but I just don't really fully feel comfortable or like I don't really feel fully ready on the in-home yet but okay with time I think I'll get there pretty quickly okay so since you're local with um Micah I would hit him up and say hey 
give me some of your old stuff. Give me some of your old leads. Let me bang it out. Let me just burn them. Okay. I just want you to learn to get rejected. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what i mean by that is call on his old leads because they're old anyways right you just want to yeah. get the the bats just talking to someone being able to book appointments if you're able to book appointments you go out with micah or micah helps close it because you're not licensed yet or better yet have him in the the call with you or in the presentation with you and then you present okay and then when you're, you're ready to do a, an application have him do it now, what he, he can do then is, you know, if that's easy for him, if you guys are able to close, he can use the, the, the money on that to offset and buy you leads to get you started. OK, yeah, you want to just be ahead. But yeah, so when I when I go about the leads, the calling and the preso and the presentation, you know, we call it short preso. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you want to get that, but you also want to learn the, the calling to get to that presentation. Yeah. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Secondly. If that's something of your choice that you want to learn how to present without a license, I would start learning and going through boot camp. Okay. Pay attention. Um, write this down. It's called FFLvirtualsales.com. Okay. The password, okay. the password is success. FFLvirtualsales.com. Oh, you can start watching nice. how people are calling from that. Look at you. You got a lot of notes already. I see that, man. FFLvirtualsales.com. <laughs> Password is success, S-U-C-C-E-S-S. That has a lot of training on their presentation in-home um, or on, on telesales and Zoom. Okay. What was the website called again? FFLvirtualsales.com. Thank you. Okay. And then we have our specific one. It's EliteFFL.com. This is our agency. Mm-hmm. Okay. EliteFFL.com. And then under the Elite Academy, that's where we have our, our um, a la carte training material. Okay. You learn how to do a presentation. You learn how to do um, uh, an in home. You learn how to do a phone appointment. Okay. So you want to start learning and picking that up. Um, secondly, you want to be plugged in. Okay. We have a third website too. Um, for the brand new, brand new, it's like step by step. Uh, it's called ffmentor.com and then slash ALAO. Right. I think Albert has a specific one. Yeah, fflmentor.com. Bert, uh, it's fflmentor.com slash alow, right? You have a you have a hyperlink. Yeah, I know it still works. Yeah, it's still there. FFL Mentor. You could just do FFL Mentor, but it tells you like get plugged in, learn from the presentation, learn from one step at a time. But understand the presentations at the end. You got to learn how to dial. You got to learn how to present. Uh, even though you may be good at it, but you got to have a lot of numbers from it. Okay? It's not so much as being great at it. Like, I think I'm great on the phones. My problem is, can I stay on the phones? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you want to dial to get 15 appointments in the next two days. You need to put in the hours and the time. You need to dial 600 dials. Now, my issue would be, I book an appointment. I'm out here celebrating like, oh, shoot, 10 minutes later. That's the next time I pick up the phone again because I'm busy celebrating. Now I took a lunch break. Now I took a coffee break. Now I took a restroom break. Yeah. And now you've only got 20 calls. <laughs> right. <done. laughs> or you go and do a call. You finally get in front of somebody or a, a conversation with somebody. You got rejected. You blew the presentation. You blew the appointment. Now, next thing you know, you're sucking yourself out before you dial again. You're like, oh, let me watch some more training on this. <laughs> <laughs> two hours later, you were on Netflix. You saw two episodes before you start dialing again. <laughs> so that will be my, my best advice is to get the discipline. Okay. Yep. Thank you. What other questions do you guys have for us? Just hell, hell, feel free to chime in. I have a question for you. Sure. Hell, go ahead. Um, I'm trying to get my leads and they, uh, Send them to, or they are asking for my banking information, and I don't know where to enter that in. And so I, um, they can send them to me. Where do so I go start off? That? Start off. Where are you buying your leads? Uh, through the office. There is where I got it from in Vegas when I went to Vegas. The meeting over there. It's been probably two months ago. Okay. been trying to get them and they sent me an email requesting my banking information. I emailed it back to them. And then they said I had entered in on my information. I'm not sure where to go for that. Did they set you up at your FFL CRM? Are you talking about your FFL CRM or you're, you're buying I, from a third party vendor? 
No, it's uh, CRM, I guess. Okay, so for your CRM, once you so first off, you want to start off at familyfirstlife.com. Log in there with your HCMS login, and then you will have that's basically called the gateway. You will have access to ILC, which is the Integrity Lead Center. You would have access to your HCMS. You would have access to your Sure LC and then NLC. Okay, once you're in there, click on ILC, which is the Integrity Lead Center, and then this is your CRM. Okay, when you're ready to buy the leads, you can capture a state down to the county, down to what type of lead, add it to your cart, and then into your account under your accounts. You actually don't put your bank account, you put your credit card information. So, this is where we're confused. Like, if you're asking for your routing and your account number, be careful. They only want credit cards. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just a card number is all I'm okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, routing an account, <laughs> someone's buying insurance on you. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Uh, hi, Hal. This is uh, Daniel from Fort. <laughs> Hope that I, thought we about to have, I thought we were about to have a live dial. <laughs> I know. Cool. It's like, dang, sell it. <laughs> All right. Anybody else have any questions? We got five more minutes. Okay. Let me make sure I've got this right. So I go to FFL. Familyfirstlife.com. Yeah. And then where do I go from there? Log in with your HCMS login. Log in. HCMS? Yeah, your normal HCMS link login, whatever it was. Okay. I'll have to see if I can find it. Okay. Yeah. Back in the days, we had so many emails and logins. They just streamlined it. We had an FFL login. We had a SureLC login. We had a um, HCMS login, CRM login. It was confusing. So they just streamlined everything to one login name. Okay. So I... I log in and then where do I go from there? Click on ILC, the Integrity Lead Center. ILC, okay. okay and that's where I side. go in and put my credit card information. Okay. Right, so now you're at the Lead Center. Um, you can buy leads, add to cart, but you, sh you should see something on your top right for your account and then um, card information. Okay. Got it? That's all I needed to know and so I can get this thing up and running and I can get Let's on the go, phone. Let's go, Hal. I'm ready. Glad to be available. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Anybody else have any questions? I feel pretty accomplished. We helped two people. <laughs> <laughs> Starts the day right. <laughs> I know. And I'm glad we had um, Solomon on for sure. Yeah. Nice to see fresh faces. Yeah. Solomon, we're always here on Mondays. And so. All right. I'll be. I'll while, be uh, yeah. So you. while you're waiting, you know, you want to just get everything ready. So as soon as your license comes in, because remember, um, there's a time frame from getting your license, clearing your background, then the State Department of Insurance gives you a license number or the NPN number, okay? Once you have the NPN, here's the process of contracting. Now, Micah or Jordan, Jordan will send you an HCMS link. That's our, I don't know, what's the name? Uh, something, I forgot the abbreviation for HCMS. What do you mean? You just said the abbreviation. The HCMS, what, what is the, the full name of it? Oh, it's something... um, hierarchy. Hierarchy Management Compensation System or something like something that. Something like that. HTMS. Yeah. <laughs> it should have been shorter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Contracting link. Something. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, that is the FFL account to get you into FFL. You create that profile. Then you get into SureLC and NLC, which is the contracting to get agent numbers. So to get your agent numbers, the carriers, the insurance companies itself, will then run your background again and issue you a writing number. So there's another... I would say three to five days. Yeah. What we're trying to promote and speed up on the NLC is to get you an agent number with America within one day. Okay. So ideally you get your NPN, you do your contract in the same day you get your NPN, you get an America number the next day and you get a prosperity agent number in a day or two, you're off and running. Okay. You have a, you have a term product, you have a final expense product and you have prosperity for, for everything, freedom of choice, prime term and um, uh, eVista. So even with two carriers, you can start running and write business. Okay, so now what you want to do then is in between that time, you want to be completely ready, right? You got leads ready, you got presentation and phone appointments and setting down so that ideally you got an agent number, you're writing that day. You write that day, you write with Americo, the next day you get an agent statement, the following day you're getting paid money in your bank. Okay, oh, I forgot to mention this. Um, Going back to this, if you feel you're kind of 
good on presentations, if you feel you're kind of good on the phones, talk to your warm market. Okay. Okay. You have uncles, cousins, mom, dad, sisters. You just call them and say, Hey, Solomon, Hey, I'm brand new to the insurance. I kind of want to get my reps in. I, I want to just practice. Can I do a fake presentation with you? Okay. And then you do the needs analysis on the client. You figure out what life insurance they have or what they don't have. Then you present some products and options. And then whether they purchase or not, it's a rep in, right? And then yeah. you get some feedback from that person because their family members, they'll tell you, oh, you kind of sounded funny here. You kind of didn't make sense on this side, okay? And then you yes. ask, you know, what could I, how can I improve? What could I have said to make you want to buy? I don't want you selling them, right? You don't need to sell them. We have leads. But if they purchase, shoot, that's a plus one. But two, what I really want to do is I want to uh, let my family members know that I do life insurance so that when they start talking to their friends, their family members, their work um, coworkers, they want to say, hey, you know what? I got a brother. I got somebody I know that does life insurance. Let me, let me pass you through. This is how you're going to get referrals. Sounds good. Anybody else? We're going to wrap it up. Uh, it's it's uh, 1150. Uh, last call for any questions. I do have one question. Go ahead. Um, so, right, um, for the NIPR number, yeah. um, it said, like, in my email, it told me, oh, it's going to take, like, seven to ten business days. And then when I go on the website to check, well, it doesn't, I don't uh, think it says I can check. It just gives me, like, the option to, like, renew it or add a license, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just to add additional residential license. Right. Yeah, so will the number just pop up in my email after? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll also pop up when you search it on the NIPR website. It'll just generate it on there that it's active. Yeah. But I would call NIPR if it's been a few days, just follow up. Sometimes you could be on the bottom, you know, of the paperwork. If you yeah. call in, they put you on ahead. I'm probably going to just call them later. Yeah. You got time. I'll give them a call right today after this. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for joining. Um, this is going to be live and, and posted on our elite um, FFL Instagram page, usually on Fridays around noontime Pacific time. Uh, feel free to add any comments or questions that you guys may have, and we'll consider and uh, answer that question on Monday. So we'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye, guys.